Here's a quick video on how you can open multiple projects using the 2018 version of Premiere Pro, which was released in October of 2017. Feel free to skip this video if you're not interested in it or if you don't have that version. Otherwise, keep watching because this is a really cool trick. So in the past, you would be able to import other sequences from another project by going up to file and you could actually import a specific project into your project, but you couldn't open two at a sa the same time. Now, why is this awesome? Well, you can share graphics and other assets from one project to another. For example, maybe you've created some sort of titles or maybe you've created a little sequence of clips that you want to use in another project. Well, you can easily open that and bring it into another project. So let me show you how that would work. Now I have one project open. It's just a blank project called CC 2018 update. You'll also notice that the interface looks a little bit different. We have this panel over here on the right hand side, which has all of these other sort of panels that you can open and close, including Lumetri Color, Essential Sound, Essential Graphics. These are a lot of the things that they've updated in Premiere Pro. But if I go up to File, Open, and I can open a recent, or I could go to my Finder and open another project. And let's just open this portrait photography class that I've been editing. What happens is it opens up the project, a separate project panel for the portrait photography project, and it opens up all the sequences that I had open in this project. So I can actually go ahead and close some of these down, or say I have some clips in a sequence that I want to use. So say I have these clips and I want to copy these into my other project. I can just take them from this sequence, so I can select them, press Command C to copy them, and then go to my other projects sequence. So I created this blank sequence, number one, and paste them, Command V. That would be Control C and Control V if you're on a PC. And now those videos, that raw video has actually been opened in this, or copied into the CC 2018 project that I had created. So that you have those videos there for use, even if you close down the portrait photography project. Now, if you want to open both of these projects at the same time, because these are now tabs within this panel, what I can do is just click and drag the portrait photography down to the bottom. And now we can open up the 2018 project. And now if I open this a little bit bigger, we can see I can go through here and say I have some titles or something, maybe some music or a graphic, a photo that I use. I can just drag this into my project up here, which is just a completely different way that you can approach editing projects. While I like having a lot, if I'm doing a series of videos, I like having them all within one project. Now I can imagine if I was doing some larger scale projects such as a TV series or a web series where I was using a lot of graphics and assets within one project, I might not want to have all of those episodes in one project. But now I can create individual projects for each of those videos. But if I want to share assets or graphics or even sequences of videos, like I said, that I've edited, I can easily copy and paste them into another project. If you have other ideas for how you can use this new feature in 2018 version of Creative Cloud, then let me know. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in another lesson.